Hello everybody and welcome back to another awesome episode of Fallout 4. We're hopping in here to continue our let's play. We just found Nick Valentine actually, which was pretty awesome, and we are heading back into the village here. Now after reading the comments section for a while, I found out some really cool things, including how to get rid of that red bar on our HP. And it turns out we have to find a general store and okay that lady's mean i don't know you keep your distance but you're mean but the way we do it is we have to find a general store and we what the heck oh this is like a a melee person but no we have to find somebody that'll sell us rad away so that'll get rid of that what that what we see there is actually radiation poisoning i'm gonna lower my volume down a bit here because it's very loud it's kind of hard to hear my own self talk but pretty much it's radiation poisoning so Let's talk to this doctor right here. He's probably got Radex. Let's see. You have a legitimate medical you concern? Legitimate medical or is this concern. about facial reconstructive about services? Facial reconstru uh -huh. Um, cure me? Yeah. Take a look at me, doc. Go over Let's your see. symptoms with me. Um, cure rads. 40 caps? Okay. Um, I can cure my rads for 40. Yeah. Feeling sick. Let's do that. I think it's radiation. Yeah, let's cure the rads for 40. Flush your system. That's worked. So we didn't even need Radex, or Radaway, sorry. I think we could just talk to the doctor. I didn't know you could do that, actually, until now. So perfect, though. What's that? Anything else bothering you? No, that's... I think that's it. No, we're done. Take better Let's care see. of yourself in the future, okay? Why would he want me to take care of myself? He could get more money off me. And hey, look! Our HP is back! It actually worked. Alright, let's talk to him. Um... It's all he understands. Uh, let's say yes. Okay. Noodle cup. How much does that heal? 40 HP? But how much is it? It's $64? You're kidding me. Well, we definitely can't afford that at the moment. So, no big deal there. Let's talk to the weapons guy here. And let's try and trade him some weapons. Let's try and make some money off of this. I mean, we, you know, it's not a bad thing, right? Trying to make a little bit of cash is never a bad thing at all. So, let's see. Bart. I'll take a look. Sure. All Don't right. forget to stock up on ammo. I won't forget to stock up on ammo. Thank you for reminding me, though. So, I can't remember if we gave all of our guns to our dog. I think we kept some for ourselves that we could sell off. Let's see, though. Anything? Do we keep any money at all? Shotgun shell. Submachine guns. Yeah, we got six of them to sell you. Oh, we can get a good chunk of cash for this, actually. Sell six of those guys. And actually, I think we have the armor-piercing submachine gun, right? We do have an armor-piercing submachine gun. So we can sell this submachine gun, too. Let's just sell this other submachine gun. Um, and what else? I think that's good for now. And, oh, geez, I just sold him something. No, I don't want to sell my jumpsuit. I just want to sell you the seven submachine guns. Uh, R to accept. Confirm trade. We're rich now, sort of. I mean, we have 300 bucks. I don't know if that makes us rich. Hey. Dog, come here and trade with me. I need to take all the guns off you. And, give, give, just give me... Why are you whimpering? Just give me the guns. Oh my god. That's why he's whimpering. He didn't want to give up his loot. He didn't want to give up all that loot. Seven more submachine guns and 14 pistols? Arturo, I have a strong feeling we're about to make some good cash. There we go. Or anything else Let's see. Uh, Bart. I'll take a look. Sure. Something yeah, I'll take a look. Of course I will. Something for everyone? Uh, of course. What is big? Holy Jesus! Shoots an additional projectile. Sixteen thousand dollars. I stand corrected, everybody. We don't have that much money. <laughs> what I th I thought we had a lot of money, and then I saw that, and I realized we do not have a lot of money. In fact, we have like no money. And wait, he's out of money. He can't even buy those all off us. Okay, well let's bring him down to there. Okay, so if what if we accept that? Can we just go talk to him again? Then he's got one hundred eighty caps. What more can we sell? We gotta sell... We gotta get rid of these. So what can we... How many of these can we sell off? 170. Perfect. We'll sell that. Well, we want to get rid of all of them, so we might as well just sell them all. And what can we buy off him to even the side? Okay, so he's got that much. What else? Let's sell him the rest of our pistols. Where are they? 10 million pistols. Let's sell him 12. And now we technically have... Three hundred and nine. Well, yeah, we got like three hundred ninety-six dollars to work with here. What do we want? Does he have anything at all we could buy off him that like? We, oh, whoa! That one does thirteen damage. Our submachine gun, but that does a lot more. His range is a little less. His accuracy is a little more. 
we got to do this. We got to do this. All right, so we definitely want to get this new submachine gun. Let's go ahead and look for, where was it? It was laser sighted or something like that. Uh, oh, glow sighted. There we go. So it's got 13 damage. Once again, our submachine gun only has 10. So we might as well just sell that off and then buy the glow sight hardened submachine gun so that's a pretty good weapon we got there and then i think other than that i scrolled through all these weapons a little bit off camera uh it doesn't seem like anything really of that much use but we do have our short hunting rifle we need to get which is 0 0.308 rounds because we don't have any ammo left for it so let's see oh there's actually a good amount of rounds left um and we he does owe us a little bit so why don't we buy let's buy 20 rounds with that there we go let's let's do that e to accept Okay, and then I would say we're pretty dang good then at this point. Yeah, I think so anyway. What is, oh, 119 for the minigun. No, I'm not selling the minigun. That's for sure. That's for dang sure. Oh, wait a minute. This pistol is technically better. So I don't really need this one. We have the glow sided hair trigger one. So we'll sell you off. And perfect. R to accept. Confirm trades. Okay, there we go. Can't carry. You're carrying. We can't run. You're carrying. Okay, that was earlier. I was gonna say that we sold like 50 machine guns. I don't understand how we were carrying too much. Wait, we have a max health of 135 now. I don't remember when that happened at all. I I don't remember really raising our HP. But okay, I am okay with this. I am very okay with this. Okay, let's see. Rads. Oh my god, most of these things have. Radi Is there any food that doesn't have rads in it? Like I don't want radiation. I just want like has nine. Like, I don't want radiation. I just want to be able to heal up with that. Like, oh, squirrel on a stick. Apparently squirrel on a stick doesn't have any radiation, because that makes all the sense in the world. Totally. That's exactly how life works. Hey, hey, you're that and then let's hey, talk to this guy you. again. Yep, all right. Yes. Let's see. Noodle cups. Ah, they have 40 health. They don't have rads either. I kind of want to get one. They're so expensive. I'm... All right, I'll buy two. I'm going to buy two. I'm going to buy two. I know I'm probably going to get yelled at in the comment section. It's probably a... A dumb idea, but we're gonna take two of them. Why not? Confirm trade. Yeah, give me your noodle cups. Why don't you? And okay, this guy right here. No, we're good. Let's go back and see Nikki, because that's what's next in the quest. So we gotta talk to Nick Valentine, see what he wants, or Valentine. Look a little heart there, Valentine Detective Agency. There we go. And let's see what Nikki Valentine has up his sleeve for us today. Are Ellie, are you here? Wait, wait, why wouldn't she be? Unless she disappeared too. And you're an android. You're creepy. It's really you. Well, it's this is interesting. Take this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You We're a friend. Agency. Oh, Yay! Job. Thank you. We're friends now. Um, you're welcome. Hey, happy to do it. There what? we go. We want to keep on good terms with them. Scary pre-war ruins all the time, then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve Whoa. it. Whoa! Plus a little something extra. Whoa, what does that mean, plus a little something extra? Okay, we're getting a little weird now. Oh, she gave us a, a fedora and a trench coat. So we can look like a detective then. That's interesting. Okay, cool. We're finally going to talk to him about her son. Here we go. Let's sit down and talk to him about her son. Trying to find someone who's gone missing. The devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Okay. Um, describe. Let's describe all of it. Vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. What else can you tell me? Um, describe the murder. My wife was murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they, they just. It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers, but they waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? Uh, let's describe. I guess we gotta describe all of them. Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? Someone 
would be taking on all of his care, and a baby needs a lot of it. Now that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Everyone keeps talking about the Institute. So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as human, that infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst so of all, creepy. no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. Discarded prototype. What? That's so weird. So Valentine's a discarded prototype? What? Don't lie to me, Nick. You're one of them. They made you. Yeah, I've heard it all before. You're a freak. You've got something to hide. Blah, blah, blah. But the truth is, people smart enough to build something like me are smart enough to cover their tracks. And arrogant enough to throw their unwanted trash into the Commonwealth to fend for itself. Either way, I need to find Sean. That's right. interesting. So he is a prototype synth. We're learning stuff. Focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Um, let's see. Let's describe the outfits. The woman was dressed in um. This is taking a long time. I'm sorry, guys. I know there's not much commentating, but I don't really want to interrupt the cutscene too much. I think you guys can mostly respect that. Maybe some kind of improvised armor. A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Um, I don't remember. Who is he? Do you think he has Sean? Hmm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but who's no Kellogg? Who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Um. There's no way that could be Sean. Yeah, because yeah. Sean was a baby. Big difference between an infant and a ten-year-old, but that doesn't mean we're on the wrong track. He could have a son of his own. Or maybe he's turned kidnapping into a bad habit. In any event, they both vanished a while back. No trace. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two? should still be careful I always am that's an interesting thing there she said we should be careful be, she said security doesn't go to that part of town but you should still be careful notice however she probably should have said security's not there be careful but she's implying that security not being there means that it's safer does that make any sense I, I hope that's making sense to people I dug up about Kellogg before his disappearance. Oh, that's not good. Bad news. Why why didn't I want he's Ellie to hear? She like sensitive or something? He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies because they're all dead. <laughs> Except you. So this Kellogg guy is bad news. But it doesn't make sense though. He's got a kid who's ten. So it wasn't our kid, but I mean I guess he could have stolen her kid anyway. As well as the other kid. A small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later. Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Massachusetts school district. Look at that, it's an old bus. This is too funny. So I guess this is supposed to be Oh my god. And it was at that moment that Jerome up here realized that Diamond Stadium is actually Fenway Park. For the Boston Red Sox. I am speechless. How did I never know that this was... This is literally Boston Red Sox Stadium. Fenway Park. That's even the green monster over there. Oh my god, I feel so dumb. I feel so dumb. Sorry. If you know baseball at all, that's, that's what this is. This is baseball. And also, what does she mean like the security doesn't go to this part of town? Like, we're literally, like, literally probably 20 feet away from the security. 
All right. Unlock master? There's no chance. I'm not breaking in there, Valentine. Hey, Valentine. Cover and lock, ain't it? Yeah. You need a master's degree to open that thing. See that? You can't get through that door. I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. So what does he want me to do then? Go to get the key to Kellogg's house. Okay, so we gotta go in this direction then. There we go. Do -do -do, do -do 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 -do. All right, so where would the key be then? Right here, apparently. Oh, what the heck? This isn't a key. Why well, does they get the key to his house and so we're taking an elevator? Oh, because we probably have to go talk to like the mayor or something up here. Well, this should be interesting. Look. It's all of Diamond City, which is like 10 houses only. There's really not much to Diamond City. In fact, half of it doesn't even render. It literally is just a hole in the ground. <laughs> okay, then. He's afraid of talking to the press? I bet if I said I was with the Institute, he'd come running. You ever think maybe you could get a man's attention easier if you use soft words, funny business around the mayor. Maybe shout a little less. Oh, that reminds me of this article I'm writing about the mayor's affair with a certain air-headed blonde. Oh, look who it is. What brings you to the mayor's office, huh? What, are we able to finally talk? Um, seeing the mayor. see the mayor about something. Really? You came to the mayor's office to see the mayor? Who'd have thought? I don't Fine. trust you, Piper. My fans didn't like you when I was live streaming, so I'm just gonna not trust you. I know I'm not live streaming right now, but you guys all hated her. It all told me to kill her. So. Piper, the mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving anyway. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Um. Kellogg's I need house. I to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Um, thanks. I'll talk to the mayor then. He set aside time to talk to petitioners all day. Best of luck. Oh, okay. All right, so we're going to talk to the mayor then. Maybe this is why we needed charisma, because I have a feeling the mayor is not someone you can just... Yes. Actually, can I we kill the mayor? You. Our new arrival. Do you think we're able to kill the mayor? I, I kind of want to kill the mayor instead of trying to convince him, because we have no charisma. How can I help you? We have zero charisma at all. Um, a man named Kellogg used to live in this city. I need to search his house. I see. Well, whatever reasons you have, I take my citizens' privacy very seriously. Even after they've left. I can't allow you to invade someone else's home. That's all there is to it. Um, he's Please, a kidnapper. Mayor McDonough, this man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. I see. I'm Persuasion sorry. attempt failed. I want to blow his brains out. The crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed. Your word alone isn't hard evidence. Alone isn't hard. Can evidence. I just shove a gun down his fucking throat? Um. So that's it. You're not going to help. Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. I can't betray that for anything. Anything? I understand. You have rules. Maybe for the right amount, you can bend them a bit. What? How dare you? I'm the mayor, for God's sake, not some... So he doesn't take mayor. bribes, either? Fine. Thanks for nothing. I know it's disappointing, but I have to think of all the people of Diamond City, not just the needs of one person. Well, you're an asshole. Uh, where do we go now? Hey, you were in the paper, right? Hey, Geneva. I'm old? sorry, but you're not Looking getting that key for me. Age, huh? Why do you want it so badly anyway? Um, please. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. I've heard the sob stories before, so save them. What? Fuck you, lady. You're a bitch. Agreement. I just happen to have a pile of caps here. You seem to be a little light on cash there, killer. So we can bribe her. Just trust me. It's important. You have my word. You really thought that would work, didn't you? I don't think so. Okay. So, we need to get money then. Have a nice day. That pretty much covers that one. So, we need to come back here with 500 caps. Or 250 caps. And we have... 150. Fuck! 
If I knew that, I wouldn't have bought the goddamn noodles five minutes ago. Oh my god, literally. Literally. We can't find our son because I bought two bowls of noodles. I'm gonna try and sell them back to the guy. I wonder if he'll buy them at a discount. Oh! Well, that just... What, what the fuck? I hate this game! Oh my god. Really? It, it just teleports me right back here. Like, come on. Was that necessary? I get it. I probably should have jumped off the cliff. But come on. Like, come on. I was just trying to speed up the process here. That's all I was trying to do. Speed up the process. Wasn't looking for anything else. And you gotta go ahead and just kill me like that. You just throw me over the edge and pretend like I'm worthless. Alright, let's get out of here now. Unless it's gonna open. Alright, we're good. We good? We're good. Call elevator button. Nope, don't need that. Okay. Do do do. Please, Mr. Person. Miss Mr. Mr. Robot. Mr. Robot. I need to sell you my noodles back. For six dollars? You sold me for fucking sixty-four! Now you wanna buy him for six dollars? I think I gotta sell Deathclaw. I gotta sell the Deathclaw meat to someone. That's all I can do. We can talk about guns, right. or maybe you want to consider something more up close and personal. Sure, let's talk about that. Sure. Just, I want to see how much you're gonna buy rad roach meat and stuff off me for. How much are you gonna buy? Wait, death claw meat. Thirty four. I guess that's the going rate. It's a lot of health. But what else can I sell? What can I sell to you? You're not getting any of my weapons, that's for sure. Jet. I don't. Okay, I don't want any drugs. I don't need drugs. I don't need brass knuckles. Um, what can I get rid of here? Medex. Damage resistance. It's not a bad drug to have. We might keep that, actually. <laughs> I stand corrected about what I said about the drugs. We might keep some of the drugs. Um, a plastic spoon. Sure. You can have it for a dollar. Pre-war money. I'm going to keep that because I'm sure it has other things. Preserved cigarette pack. Um... Rad road meat. Okay. How much will I get for this? Oh, you get one thing, one dollar per? Then no, I don't want to sell you any of them. You're only going to give me a dollar for it. Razor grain, Salisbury steak, a sequin dress. Ah! Ten dollars for the dress, my good sir. A silver pocket watch. Oh, but that's apparently used for a lot of different things. Okay, we don't use a switchblade. You can take that. Um, telephone? We can use that for circuitry and stuff. We don't want to sell that. Tire irons are only melee weapon we've got. Turpentine says it has purpose as well. Um, has resistance to radiation. God, there's so many things. I don't want to get rid of half this stuff, but we need to. It's unfortunate, but we need to. A worn fedora. Well, I know we were just given the fedora, but we don't need it technically. So we're going to get rid of that. And we don't need the trench coat either. So we're going to get rid of that. We have $59 now. We need... 96 96 dollars total and we have 59 what else can we sell what can we sell to you do you you could buy duct tape off us but it's a lot mm. is there anything else we could sell or do we just got to start selling important things then i think we just got to start selling important things and he barely i love how they sell ammo for so much money and they barely buy it for anything a blood bug proboscis sure you could take that do you want one one cigarette? Which we, oh, we use the cigarette for cloth, apparently. Because that makes sense. Um, if we sell the death claw meat, we have exactly enough money. But 90 health? Ugh! God dang it! Why does the mission have to be to save our son? Alright. Well, we got 250. $250. I'll take that, and we'll run back up. So we're wasting every last penny we have on bribing someone to give us the keys to someone's house who's a kidnapper so we can save our son. This makes a lot of sense. Yes, because people have no morals anymore nowadays and don't just want to help me save my son in the first place. They have to be bartered with what is literally my life savings in bottle caps. Which, by the way, I kind of find it funny that they use bottle caps as a currency. Like, why would they use pre-war coins as a currency? Like, why of all things bottle caps? I don't understand. Like, that is just so random. 
to choose, but okay. For that key. What's so important about it? Well, I already told you it was important about it. Just take my bribe. Agreement. I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, there I go again, leaving a key out on my Oh desk. my gosh, it worked! To put it, back. it actually works. Wow. Okay, perfect. So we just bribed her for the key. We paid $250 for that dang key. Because Nikki Valentine doesn't know how to break a lock. How about we just spend five dollars and buy a lockpick, huh? What if we just got what if we just got a saw and sawed the lock off? For five dollars. What do you think about that, dog meat? Hey. Can I change your name, dog meat? How you doing, buddy? Can I change your name at all? You know you know fine dog meat. We'll talk later about this. Anyone, if anyone knows in the comment section if you change the dog's name, that'd be awesome if you could let me know. Just because you know, I have a German Shepherd at home named Shadow, and it'd be kind of nice to name her Shadow after my dog. All right, so we're gonna bring this key up to Nikki Valentine. I think that's where we're gonna call this episode quits. So while we're bringing the key up there, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it up until this point. And apart from that, stay tuned, everybody. We're gonna leave on this cliffhanger right outside the gate with Nikki Valentine. Take care.